you can be asked to determine half-lives uh, for various reactions that are first order, second order, or zero order. Now here's the thing. There are half-life formulas as well. So now think about it. You have to memorize the first order integrated rate law formula, natural log of the concentration equals negative kT plus the natural log of the initial concentration, second order, which is 1 over the concentration, equals kT, not negative, just kT, plus the 1 over the initial concentration, and zero order, which is just concentration, equals negative kT, plus the uh, initial concentration. You have to memorize three formulas, okay? So here's the thing. If you've got to memorize the half-life formulas, those are six formulas now that you have to know, and I think that's crazy. So here's the thing. Don't memorize half-life formulas. I know, I know, you're going to say, but there's, there's a couple of them that, are, well, one of them actually is pretty easy to memorize. Well, go ahead and memorize it then if you want to. But here's the thing. The other two are really tough. So instead of memorizing them, just know your integrated rate law expressions and then answer the questions accordingly. Watch, watch, here it comes. <laughs> here's a reaction that's 45% complete in 60 seconds. The question is, and by the way, oh, you need to be told something. Ah. The reaction is 45%, it's a first order reaction, I apologize, so here's the thing. The question is, a first order reaction is 45% complete in 60 seconds. You need to be told what order it is. And somebody says that and then says, find the rate constant and the half-life for the reaction. So what you just need to understand is what a half-life is. And a half-life is the amount of time, so a half-life is a time, the time it takes for an initial quantity of something to become half of its original quantity. So if you start off with one mole per liter, how much time does it take to get to a half mole per liter? And then how much time does it take? It's going to be the same amount of time to go from a half mole per liter to 0.25 moles per liter. You see, those times are called the half-life time, uh, half-life times. So now here's the thing. If I'm told that it's a first order reaction, I know what the integrated first order rate uh, expression is. It's right there. Okay. And here's what I know from the question. The, it's 45% complete in 60 seconds. Now you're saying 45%, well, I don't know what that means. Yeah, you do know what that means. If you started off with 100%, you got 55% left over. Treat the percents like they're concentrations. So if the first question is find the rate constant, take this formula and rearrange it to solve for k, which is going to equal, now think about it, you're going to take that minus that, so that's what we get there, all divided by t and make it a negative t, so divide that by t, make that side a negative. The natural log of the concentration at a given amount of time, at 60 seconds, so the time is 60 seconds, at that time, what is the concentration of that. If it's 45% complete, you have 55 left over. So I put in 55 here for my concentration at 60 seconds, and the initial is 100 because it's 100%. So you just make them up, make up the concentrations from the percentages. And then when you do natural log of 55 minus the natural log of 100, that's a negative number, but that negative in front, whoops that negative in front is going to turn that into a positive divided by 60 you get 0 decimal 0 1 0 and the unit is see natural log of moles per liter or or that concentration is oh you can't take the natural log of 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 a unit it just goes wah. so therefore you just have natural log of two numbers divided by seconds so the unit is one over seconds now that's the rate constant k now the next question is well what's the half-life What's the half-life? That's the time, that's at t equals one-half, that's the time it takes to be able to get to half the quantity. Now, when you rearrange this formula here to solve for t, one-half, which is just the t, what are you going to get? You're going to have to actually take the nat natural log of the concentration of A minus the, whoops, the natural log minus the natural log of that initial concentration, all divided by, in this case, negative rate constant, right? What is the concentration, what is that concentration at the half-life? Well, if the initial concentration is 100, your concentration at the half-life is 50, right? 
And so you plug in 50 here and 100 here. What's your rate constant? It's going to be the 0 decimal 0, 1, 0, 1 over seconds. And that number divided by 1 over seconds is going to give you seconds in the end. And when you make, when, and you have to make that a negative k, so it's negative that number. When you punch all of that in, you get 69 seconds. Now, does that make sense? Well, yeah, because it, to get to 45% completion, it took 60 seconds. So another 5% to get to 50% is probably going to be around 69 seconds. That's beautiful. Don't memorize those rotten half-life formulas. Just use your brain.